Hello again, now running some bleaching distillation. I believe you can see the difference. Uh, the stream is absolutely clear now. Though it's not as clear uh, when you filling up some transparent glass like this, lab glass. Uh, anyway, you can see the difference. Here you can see in the first sample there's a sort of uh, tiny particles or whatever. It's sort of separating, and you can see there's a two different layers, uh, more light layers, lighter layers on the top and darker on the bottom. So this is some polymers are forming, and they about to uh, become some sort of black tar, like uh, deposits on the bottom bottom of the cylinder of this particular cylinder. And here we've got a second distillation. Technically, uh, during the distillation, we about to get absolutely transparent liquid, but because uh, our amounts are not significant and uh, we still got some uh, old processed fuel in this cylinder in a condenser, it's ne it's needed to be drained and also in the column. An actual reactor is still filled up with the uh, oil. So we've got sort of mix and it wouldn't be that transparent, transparent. But anyway, uh, during this sort of distillation, uh, our ratio is about 3% of, uh, of waste, from 3 to 5, usually 3% of waste and 97% uh, of uh, production. It's going a little bit more faster. Then the processing of the oil, we can even increase the production by increasing the temperature and flow, but I don't like to increase it, just like it this way, because I'm testing, is the result. Now I just wanted to show you, um, I just emptied this cylinder, and you can see uh, it's been sitting for a while, and uh, the fuel that we've got, uh, the distillate that we've got after the uh, first distillation of the oil started to deposit some uh, tar, uh, asphalts, asphalt and uh, polymers on the bottom of this cylinder. So I wouldn't recommend to use it straight away without settling, at least, or maybe second distillation and of course without uh, uh, treatment with absorbents because this sort of stuff may end up in your fuel tank, fuel lines and uh, valves, injectors. So if you're processing oil like that, you still need to do proper treatment after the distillation. You can distill only once, but again, silica gel will help to uh, eliminate this sort of stuff will absorb everything and you would end up with absolutely clear transparent fuel. Thank you.